Rock woman's purse loaded with money and gift cards meant for Christmas presents, stolen just days before the holiday. Fox 16's Chanley Painter in studio tonight to tell us how the woman is still bringing the magic of Christmas to her family and friends. Chandler? Hey, good evening, Mitch. It happened Friday morning as Candace Hinkle was with her husband at UAMS for a cancer treatment. Her purse with more than $800 suddenly gone. But she says what happened next is something she's only seen in the movies. When you have friends, honey, you're just rich regardless. Candace Hinkle is a professional actress, but never did she think a scene from her life would mimic her favorite Christmas movie. It's just like it's a wonderful life. Well, it's, it's, it's luck. But just like in the movie. I saw your car piled into that tree down there and I thought maybe you... Hey, your mouth's bleeding. Are you sure you're all right? Candace's you? Christmas wasn't looking merry or bright. He was diagnosed with a dendritic cell tumor and a malignant gallbladder and acute myeloid leukemia. She just spent 23 days in the hospital while her husband received a cancer treatment. It's a money and gift card kind of Christmas at our house this year. Friday morning, she picked up those gift cards, $800 worth in her purse. We had to come back to UMS for lab work and somehow it's a mystery my purse disappeared her christmas was stolen it hurt my feelings you know and i tried not to be grouchy about it but i did complain to my friends one of those friends without candace knowing texted everyone they knew you know that old song about there's no people like show people well that's the absolute truth candace's theater family united donating more than double what she lost i came out to murray's dinner playhouse and filled up a sack for me, actors don't make much money. The generosity was overwhelming. I have the opportunity to switch this and not let it beat me and not let me get it down. And just like it says in the ending of It's a Wonderful Life, no man is a failure who has friends. I know that those people did without for me not to have to do without. And that's what it just, I don't know, I just feel all wrapped up and loved. Candace says she did report what happened to police, but says she's finding comfort in hoping that whoever took the money needed it more than she did. She only wishes for her car keys back, Mitch. Definitely somebody that is in the Christmas spirit tonight. Thanks, Chanley.